Hi, this is Kerry with FreeAudacityTutorials.com, and in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to use a function called Append Record. Kind of a funny name for the the thing. What it does is it helps you to add vi or audio to your track at a certain point, and and append means at the end. So you're adding audio to the end of your audio track. And what I'm going to do is just record a track here and pretend like I forgot to say something at the end that I wanted to add and I'll show you how this function works. So here we go. Hi, this is Kerry from FreeAudacityTutorials.com and I wanted to let you know that I do podcast cover art and podcast tutorials or consulting. Okay, so there's my recording and let's just pretend for a moment that I also wanted to say that uh, I also do pod or not podcasts, but uh, website headers right in there as well. So how would I go about doing that? Well, there's one way I could do it. I could just hit record again, and it would make a new track down here, and then I could use my time shift tool and move that track. But if I want to do it in this same track, if I don't want another track to show up down here below, I can do that by adding on right here. And what I'll do is click my selection tool, and I will click wherever I want that thing to, to be added to the end of. And then I'm going to go to Transport, Append Record. And as soon as I hit Append Record, it's going to start recording. So I have to be ready to say what it is I want to say. So here we go. And I also do website headers. So you can check that out at FreeAudacityTutorials.com. And you see I record it. I hit the stop button when I'm done and it has added it on. Now because I had a little space here at the end, there's going to be a lot of space. Let me play what it sounds like. Or consulting. And I also do website headers. So you can check that out at freeaudacitytutorials.com. So I would want to just edit out some of this. I would highlight that space, hit my cut tool, and there you go. So that is the append record function that you can use in Audacity. Now if you wanted to uh, put your cursor here and do a penned record, watch what happens. I'm trying to add something where I put my cursor, but it didn't work. Now you notice what happened. It adds it on the end because a penned means on the end. So if you're wanting to put it somewhere else, you would not use your append record. So I'm going to hit Control Z and it's going to undo what I did. So if I did want to insert something here, what would I do? Well, I could put my cursor there and hit record, and it will start recording a new track down here below. But it's going to play this one at the same time because I have the overdub function on. So I'm going to hit the mute button and then show you how I could do that. Now this is the part that I'm inserting in the middle where I put the cursor. Okay, and so what I would have to do if I'm going to actually insert that right there is I'm going to have to click back here where I started and I'm going to have to go to Edit, Clip Boundaries, Split, and what that's going to do is split this part of this, this part of the track and this part of the track apart from each other. I am going to move this down with my Time Shift tool, slide this one over where I want it, and then put this one here. Now, obviously, I did not listen at all to what this is going to sound like, so it's probably going to sound pretty funky as far as the coherence of it, but let's listen to it anyway. Tutorials.com. Now this is the part that I'm inserting in the middle where I put the cursor. And I wanted to let you know that I do... So you see, there's really no sense to why it would be there, but you get the idea of how you would put a track there. Now if I wanted to actually put this part of the track up into this other track, what I'd do is highlight it like I just did. I would put cut, I would hit the cut button, then I would click here with my selector tool, and then I would hit the paste button, and it will put it right there and I'll have to use my time shift tool to pull this other one up onto the end of it and there it is in one track. So that is how you use the append record tool and how you can also insert some some uh, audio into the middle of a track that you already have. This is Kerry with FreeAudacityTutorials.com check me out there I do podcast cover art podcast consulting and website headers